In Seville. When living alone, it's easy to overlook beating the carpets and airing the linen, she said, closing the shutters on the jangle of trams, the clattering hooves and the distant neighing. Forgive the disorder, she said. And the shutters snapped shut, shrinking the light to strips of gold that lay in ribbons across them. They drank tea. Its amber hue danced with tiny leaves, such a strange flavour in the fluted glasses. The cups are all broken, but the tarts are fresh and the orange is not too bitter, she said, brushing crumbs from his lips with her thumb. Later came a knock at the door. Forgive the disturbance, she said, winding the sheet around her. Tradesmen call after the sun has dropped. And Maxim concurred. His farriers thought nothing of shoeing the horses at night, he said, watching her fasten rosemary to the knocker as the sheet fanned in a tail behind her. In the small hours, when only the dead speak, the moon drew phosphorescent bars across their body where they lay on the couch, and she asked his forgiveness no longer. The trams were silent, and no callers came. Neither did they talk of tradesmen, nor servants, nor of their own luminosity, nor the dangers of moonlight, its enchantment, its bane.